The chilly Arctic regions of Canada, Russia, and Alaska are like a giant freezer with permafrost covering a whopping quarter of the northern hemisphere. This icy layer can go as deep as 1,000 to 500 meters, holding on to ancient secrets like a time capsule from thousands and even millions of years. Now the Arctic is warming faster than any other region on the planet, and as the icy permafrost thaws, it's unveiling some seriously shocking surprises, with potential risks for both the environment and human health. Get ready as we dive into the top 10 jaw-dropping permafrost revelations to date. We start off with Yucca, the woolly mammoth. Yucca was a young female woolly mammoth that lived about 39,000 years ago in Siberia. She was discovered in 2010 by a local hunter on the coast of the Laptov Sea. Yucca was remarkably well-preserved, with her blonde fur, skin, muscles, and even some internal organs intact. But what made her especially unique was that she had a brain. Yucca's brain was the first mammoth brain ever retrieved in mostly intact condition. Scientists used CT and MRI scans to study its structure and found that it had a similar size and shape to modern elephants' brains. They also found traces of nervous tissue and blood vessels in the brain. Yucca's brain could provide valuable insights into the behavior and intelligence of these extinct giants. She also had signs of human interaction, such as cut marks and a missing trunk, suggesting that she was hunted or scavenged by ancient people. Next is the yucca gear bison. Another impressive permafrost discovery was made in 2011 by members of the yucca gear tribe in Yakutia, Russia. They found a four-year-old male bison that had died about 9,300 years ago near Lake Chukchalak. The bison belonged to an extinct subspecies known as the steppe bison, which was larger and more robust than modern bison. The bison was one of the most complete specimens of its kind ever found. It had its brain, heart, blood vessels, genitalia, digestive system, and even stomach and intestinal contents preserved by the permafrost. Scientists were able to analyze its diet and health condition from these organs. They found that bison had eaten grasses, sedges, and herbs before it died, and that it had suffered from parasites and inflammation. Coming up is the woolly rhinoceros. In 2014, a gold miner in Siberia stumbled upon a rare find, a woolly rhino carcass with its skin and hair still attached. She also had some injuries on her ribs and spine, possibly from a predator attack or a fall. The rhino was named Kolyma after the river where it was found. It was a female that lived about 39,000 years ago during the Pleistocene epoch. Kalama was one of only four woolly rhinos ever found with skin and hair preserved by the permafrost. Woolly rhinos were similar to modern rhinos but had thick fur and two horns on their noses. They were adapted to cold climates and grazed on grasses and shrubs in the tundra. This discovery could provide valuable insights into the appearance, coloration, and genetics of woolly rhinos. Additionally, it may assist scientists in comprehending how these creatures adapted to environmental changes during the Ice Age. Next is the Ice Age horse. This extinct horse was unearthed in 2018 in the Batagaika crater in Yakutia, Russia. It was only two weeks old when it died, about 42,000 years ago. It was one of the best preserved Ice Age animals ever found, with its skin, hair, hooves, and internal organs still intact. It belonged to an ancient species of horse that was smaller and stockier than modern horses. Coming up next are two ancient puppies. These puppies were found in 2015 in the Tumat village in Yakutia, Russia. They were about three months old when they died, more than 12,000 years ago. They were so well preserved that they still had their fur, whiskers, teeth, and eyelashes. Next is the Yukagir wolf pup. This wolf pup was discovered in 2016 near the Indigurka River in Yakutia, Russia. She was about two months old when she died, about 57,000 years ago. She had her fur, skin, muscles, and internal organs preserved by the permafrost. 
She also had her milk teeth and some of her adult teeth emerging. She was named Zur by the local indigenous people, meaning wolf in their language. Following the wolf pup is the baby mammoth. This baby mammoth lived about 41,000 years ago in Siberia. She was found in 2007 by a reindeer herder near the Yuri Bay River. She was only one month old when she died, possibly from suffocation after falling into a mud pit. She had her fur, skin, eyes, trunk, and even some milk still in her stomach, preserved by the permafrost. Next is a giant beaver skull. This giant beaver skull was found in 2018 near Dawson City in Yukon Territory, Canada. It belonged to an extinct species of beaver that lived during the Pleistocene epoch, about 2 million to 10,000 years ago. It was about twice as large as modern beavers and weighed up to 100 kilograms. It had huge incisors that could cut through wood and ice. Coming up on the list is a group of ancient microscopic worms. These were found in 2018 in two samples of permafrost from Siberia. They were about 0.5 millimeters long and belonged to two different species of nematodes. They were estimated to be 32,000 and 41,000 years old respectively. They were revived in a laboratory after being thawed and started moving and eating. They are the oldest living animals ever recorded. Next are human footprints that date back to 13,000 years ago. The footprints were found by archaeologists in 2018 near Whitehorse in Yukon Territory. They were made by two adults and a child who walked along the edge of a lake. The footprints are the oldest known human footprints in North America. In addition to these shocking discoveries, one of the most dangerous threats to life on Earth from the permafrost is the release of methane. Methane is a powerful greenhouse gas that traps heat in the atmosphere and contributes to global warming. Methane is produced by the decomposition of organic matter, such as plants and animals, in low oxygen conditions. Permafrost acts as a natural freezer that prevents methane from escaping into the air. However, as permafrost thaws, it releases large amounts of methane that have been trapped for thousands or millions of years. Scientists have detected methane bubbles rising from the ground and lakes in the Arctic, creating a fizzing sound and sometimes even igniting when lit with a match. They have also measured high concentrations of methane in the air above the Arctic, especially in Siberia and Alaska. The release of methane from permafrost could have catastrophic consequences for the climate and human health. Methane is 28 times more potent than carbon dioxide as a greenhouse gas over a 100-year period and 84 times more potent over a 20-year period. This wraps up our adventure into the Arctic's eye-popping secrets discovered from the melting permafrost. From the preserved milk being discovered in the baby mammoth's stomach, to the worms coming back to life after being frozen for thousands of years, tell us which is the most shocking. That's it for today on Curious Gate. Please remember to subscribe and click on the bell for notifications so you don't miss when we upload new content. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay curious.